Hello everyone, my name is Leon Rawabi and in this presentation I will be discussing the work of Iraqi artist Hana Malallah. I will begin with an introduction to her life and work, followed by an exploration of her expressive evaluation and the artistic and social context in which she operates. I will then examine some of her general characteristics and examples of her work before focusing on one particular artwork, desertification, and conducting a visual analysis. I will then discuss the meaning of the artwork and their, its relevance to today's world. Hana Malala is an Iraqi artist born in 1958, and Malala's work is unique in many ways. One of the reasons for this is her background in traditional Islamic calligraphy and calligraphic art. She received her initial education in the fine arts from the Academy of Fine Arts in Baghdad, where she studied painting and drawing. However, it was her subsequent interest in traditional Islamic calligraphy that has had a profound influence on her work. Over time, she began to combine elements of traditional calligraphy with contemporary art forms and her work has become known for its expressive and emotional qualities. In this slide, I will discuss the artistic movement that Hana Malala is associated with. Malala is often grouped with a generation of Iraqi artists who emerged in the 1980s and 1990s. These artists were influenced by a variety of movements and styles, including abstract expressionism, pop art, and conceptual art. Malala's work is characterized by a combination of these different styles, and she is known for her bold use of color, abstract forms, and unconventional materials. However, Malala's work is also deeply rooted in her cultural and artistic heritage, which is evident in her use of calligraphy and other traditional Islamic art forms. This slide will explore the social and political context that has influenced Hana Malala's work. Malala has lived through some of the most turbulent times in Iraq, Iraq's recent history including the Iran-Iraq War, the Gulf War, and the U.S.-led invasion of 2003. Her work often reflects the violence, displacement, and cultural destruction that she has witnessed firsthand. Malala is also known for her efforts to preserve Iraqi cultural heritage, particularly in the face of ongoing conflict and instability. She believes that art can play an important role in promoting understanding and un unity between different cultures. And her work often explores themes of identity, memory, and loss. In this slide, I will take a closer look at some of the general characteristics of Hana Malala's work, as well as some specific examples. Malala's work is characterized by its use of unconventional materials such as tar, burnt paper, and other found objects. She of often incorporates calligraphic elements into her work, and her use of bold colors and abstract forms creates a sense of movement and energy. One example of Malala's work is Lines in the Sand, a series of paintings that she created in response to the US-led invasion of Iraq. The paintings are characterized by their use of earth tones and abstract forms, and they convey a sense of chaos and destruction. Here I will focus on one of Hana Malala's artworks and conduct a visual analysis. For this purpose, I will choose her piece, Desertification, which is part of her Euphrates series. The piece features a large, irregularly shaped canvas with a dark background and white calligraphic forms that appear to be floating or suspended in space. The use of contrast 
between dark and light colors create a sense of depth while the organic shapes and fluid lines suggest movement and energy. Overall, the piece is characterized by its simp simplicity and minimalism with only a few visual elements and principles of design employed to convey a powerful message. In this slide, I will take a closer look at Hannah Malala's life and her artistic journey. Malala was born in Basra, Iraq, and she studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in Baghdad before moving to the UK in 1985. During her time in the UK, Malala continued to develop her style and explore new materials. She has been living and working in the UK ever since. Over the course of her career, Malala has received numerous awards and honors, and her work has been exhibited in many galleries and museums around the world. Malala's art is known for its expressive and emotional qualities, and her use of bold colors and abstract forms often convey a sense of urgency and passion. Here I will explore the meaning of desertification and its relevance today. The piece is a response to the ongoing environment, environmental crisis in Iraq, particularly the destruction of the, of the country's marshlands and wetlands. The calligraphic forms in the piece are meant to represent the reeds and other plant life that have been destroyed, while the dark background symbolizes the barn lifeless landscapes that has replaced them. Malala's Malala's use of white suggests hope and the possibility of rainwater, even in the face of environmental devastation. Today, the peace remains relevant as the world continues to grapple with the effects of climate change and environmental degradation. In this slide, I will summarize uh, my discussion of Hannah Malala and her work. Malala's art is characterized by its use of unconventional materials, bold colors, and abstract forms, and her work often explores themes of identity, memory, and loss. Malala's use of calligraphy and other traditional Islamic art forms also speaks to the importance of cultural heritage and preservation. Overall, Malala's work offers a powerful reflection on the social, cultural, and political context in which she creates, and her art remains relevant and inspiring today. Some sources that you may find useful for further exploration include the Tate Modern, the British Museum, and the Saatchi Gallery. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please go ahead.